Hello everyone, welcome back to this module on writing essentials. In this series of uh, mechanics of writing, this is lecture number four and we are going to cover quotation marks and uh, punctuating dialogues in this lecture. Now let's go uh, into details of what are quotation marks. Now we all know that quotation marks are that part of punctuation which we generally use to insert a reported uh, statement or speech during a sentence. Now quotation marks pose a problem for many writers. But there are some simple rules that uh, make them easy to use. Although these marks are most often found in dialogue writings or dialogues, other writing situations also require them. Now we generally use double quotation marks to set off a direct quotation or thought within a sentence or paragraph. This includes quotations that are signed or etched or inscribed, carved and so on. Let's look at this sentence. The managers called our new pricing policy the innovation of the decade. Now in this sentence we have a direct quotation or thought of what the managers called the new policy and that part is inserted in the double quotation marks. Now how to use quotation marks? Now if we use double quotation marks to insert a complete thought of uh, in a sentence, we use single quotation marks to set off a quotation within a quotation. For example, Beth could not make it. She told me, I'll catch up with you later, said Grace. Now, in this sentence, uh, it's like Grace is saying that Beth couldn't make it. And she's also inserting what Beth actually said. She's quoting what Beth actually said. So we have here a situation where a quotation is inside another quotation. So now, we all know that to mark a quotation, we use double quotation marks. But to set off a quotation within a quotation, we use single quotation marks. The sales manager said, the attitude of my most successful salesman is, no job is too big or small. So here we find that uh, there is a quotation inside a quotation. And that particular quotation, which is inside the bigger quote, is uh, set off using single quotation marks. And the total quotation is actually used, um, is set off by using the double quotation marks. We generally do not use question marks for a paraphrase or a restatement of a direct quotation or thought, in other words. For example, the teacher said, turn your papers in at the end of the class. Now, here we find a direct quotation. Turn your papers in at the end of class. Now, to mention this direct quotation, we use quotation marks. But if the same thing is said in the form of a paraphrase or a restatement, it could be something like this. The teacher said to turn our papers in at the end of class. It's something like a report speech. Now here what we find is in this indirect speech or a paraphrase, we do not use quotation marks. So quotation marks are only used to indicate a direct quotation. In other words, only to talk about the direct speech. Now how do we use quotation marks inside dialogues? Now this is something very essential for us to understand. Look at these sentences. I'm really hungry. I want something to eat, said Harry. Nina answered, I'm hungry, but I don't have any cash. Do you have some? Now, what is this? Harry asked. You're the one with the manager's job. 
Yes, Nina said, but credit cards are all I ever carry. Now here we find that there are some dialogues. And of course, dialogues need to be uh, need to have quotation marks. Now let's look at these dialogues. In the first dialogue, what we find is uh, there is a direct quote by Harry. There are two parts in each dialogue. One is the quotation, and then we have this uh, mm, uh, the end part where we say that uh, it's something like um, a tag which mentions who said it. And that tag sometimes is at the end of the quote, sometimes it's at the beginning of the quote, like in the second sentence where Nina answered, I'm hungry, but I don't have any cash. Do you have some? No. The tag can be at the end of the quote or it can be at the beginning of the quote. And in case of the last two sentences, we find that the tag is actually in the middle of the quote. So how should we actually go about using the quotation marks inside dialogues? Now, correctly punctuating dialogue means understanding how to use quotation marks and commas and also end marks that is full stop exclamation mark and question mark now let us take a close look at the sentences now these are some samples of the basic dialogue structures now in each dialogue as we have already mentioned the words quoted are called quotations and the words which are explaining who said the quotes are called tags now in the four sentences written uh, we have used uh, we have tried to highlight the tags in bold so now when we look at these four dialogues what we observe is we have quotation marks we have end punctuation marks like full stop exclamation or question mark and we also find that there are a lot of commas too so where we should use comma where should we use a uh, question, question mark and when should we use the full stop along with the quotation marks is something we need to learn. Let's look at the first case. Observe these sentences. I'm really tired of driving. Let's find a hotel, said Arun. I'm really tired of driving. Do you want to find a hotel? Asked Arun. I'm really try, tired of driving. Wait, there's a holiday in, exclaimed Arun. Now, there is a peculiar case in all of these dialogues. The first thing is the tags are at the end of the dialogue. And the second thing is you find a statement, then you find a question, and you also find an exclamation mark. So this is one case where the tag follows the quotation. And the quotation is a sentence normally ending with the full stop. But because the full stop will come at the end of the total code, that is even after the tag, we don't use a full stop at the end of a quote. Instead, we use a comma. And uh, if the quotation is a sentence normally ending with a question mark or an exclamation mark, then we insert the question mark or the exclamation mark inside the double quotations. We also place a full stop after the tag, but we do not use a comma. We use a comma only when the quote is a statement. And we don't use a full stop inside the quote when it's a statement because we already we are, we are going to use the full stop at the end of the tag. So normally it's the full stop or the period which ends any dialogue and it generally comes at the last point. So there is no need to use um, a, a duplicate the usage of full stop even inside a quote. So this is the first case where we observe that the tag follows the quotation and when it follows the quotation, we use comma inside the quotation to end the statement. 
but if it's a question if the quote is a question we use question mark inside quotation marks we use exclamation mark inside the quotations but we do not use the period or full stop inside the quotes when it's a statement and each of the dialogue is always end with the full stop now that's the first case now let's look at another case arun said i'm really tired of driving let's find a hotel arun said i'm really tired of driving do you want to find a hotel Arun said, I'm really tired of driving. Wait, there's a holiday in. Now, this is the second case of a dialogue where we find the tag is actually starting the sentence. In the previous case, it was the tag which followed the dialogue, but here the tag precedes the dialogue. So how should we use the quotation marks? Now, we find here that after the tag, we are using a comma in each of the cases when the quotation is going to start after the tag we use a comma that's the first thing and if it's a statement the quote will be ending with a full stop if it's a question the quote will end with a question mark if it's an exclamation mark the quote will end with an exclamation mark and all of the three will be inside the double quotation marks so when the tag comes before the quotation we place a comma after the tag we put quotation marks around the quoted words we capitalize the first word of the quotation and punctuate the sentence as we normally would do it now let's look at a third scenario where we find these sentences i'm really tired of driving said arun let's find a hotel i'm really tired of driving said arun do you want to find a hotel i'm really tired of driving said arun wait a holiday in now here we find that there are two uh, i mean the the full dialogue is actually intercepted or inserted with the tag so the tag is actually coming inside of the dialogue it is interrupting the quotation if both the first and the second parts of the quotation are complete sentences the first part of the quotation is punctuated in the same way as a quotation with the tag at the end okay so if it's a statement you end it with a comma if it's a question mark you end it with a question mark if it's an exclamation mark you end it with an exclamation mark so we we do it just like what we did when uh, a statement or when a dialogue is followed by the tag the quotation is followed by the tag but the rest of the quotation is punctuated in the same way as a quotation preceded by the tag so what we do is uh, the first letter will be capitalized and um, if it's a statement we'll end with the period if it's a question we'll end with the question mark if it's an exclamation mark with an exclamation mark and all of these will be inside the double quotation marks so these are the three scenarios where we find in especially quotation marks concerning quotation marks when we are punctuating dialogues so a, a, a every dialogue will have two parts one part is called the quotation the other part is called as the tag so you have a case where the tag would follow the quotation you have also a case when the tag would precede the quotation you can also have a situation where the tag intercepts or interrupts the quotation in the middle so in every case there are different ways of using the quotation marks now let's summarize what we have learned up to now in the form of uh, a little uh, a revision or summary so if the tags follow a quotation then if it's a statement we end it with a comma if it's a question we end it with a question mark and if it's an exclamation we end it with an exclamation if the tags precede a quotation then the tag will always be 
followed by a comma and the remaining part of the quotation we, we would write it generally as we would do uh, in normal sense that is if it's a statement we end with a period if it's a question mark with a question mark it's an exclamation with an exclamation and all of them are put inside the double quotation marks and there can be a third situation where the tags could be interrupting a one sentence quotation if the tags are interrupting a one sentence quotation the first part will be treated as the case where the quotation is followed by the tag if it's a statement uh, because it's a statement and one sentence statement so that part will be always followed by periods and the last part will be like if it's a if it's a statement a period will end it if it's a question mark question like a question mark will end it and if it's an exclamation an exclamation mark would end it but if that uh, it, the tag comes between two sentences of a quotation then the first sentence uh, uh, would be treated as if uh, the case one where the quote is followed by the tag and the next sentence will be treated as the second case where the quote is preceded by the tag so that is what will follow uh, while punctuating dialogues now quotation marks do have some other uses for example we use quotation mark to set off nicknames and words used as slang christy was dubbed speed demon by her teammates now that's a nickname for christy and that is what we write uh, in quotation marks all the kids said the new cd was really bad now the bad is like a slang or it's a nickname given by the kids so that is uh, in, inserted between the double quotes. We also use quotation marks to indicate irony or raised eyebrows in a sense. So because quotation marks can indicate irony, we need to avoid overusing quotation marks in this way. My yearly evaluation involved a three minute conversation with the boss. Now because uh, there is an irony here because uh, yearly evaluation was just done in three minutes of conversation so that's why the writer has put evaluation under or uh, inside quotes or quotation marks because that's to emphasize the irony that consultant offered no advice or counsel a consultant is generally a person who is required to offer advice or counsel but if somebody is not doing that then that's a big irony their idea of a good time is doing laundry <laughs> now probably good times are something which we generally use for enjoyment but uh, if good time is something we do laundry then there's an irony so here what we find is those words or phrases which indicate irony are put inside quotation marks that's one another use of use of quotation we use quotation marks to set off titles of certain items of course some titles would be italicized and some would be enclosed in quotation marks now let's try to understand the differences between using quotation marks and also italicizing something now we generally enclose the name of a short story or a chapter of a book inside quotes or quotation marks but when we write the title of a book we italicize it the name of a TV program or a title of a title of a poem uh, would be enclosed in quotation marks. But similarly, when we come to the names of movie, they are generally italicized. Or a title of a collection of poetry or epic poems, okay, that collections are italicized. But names of programs, TV programs, or poems are generally enclosed in quotes. The headline of an article or title of a report are generally enclosed in quotes. Even the title of a song is generally put inside quotation marks. But the name of a magazine or a newspaper or a title of a musical or a long musical composition is generally italicized. So uh, that's the difference. We write the name of a ship or plane or train etc. by italicizing it. So there are some differences when we write 
something uh, so it's something like the bigger part is italicized and the smaller part is enclosed in quotation marks now sometimes we use italics instead of quotes or quotation marks now italics are also used uh, when referring to words as words or for emphasis for example the word food always brought a smile to his face now uh, the word uh, the, the word food is italicized here to show that it is emphasized i have never seen anyone so fond of music now to to italicize never is to show emphasis now there are some rules how to use quotation marks with other punctuation marks let's have a look at them now question marks exclamation marks and dashes go inside quotation marks if they are part of a quotation so if a if a sentence or if a quotation has question marks or exclamation marks and dashes they are always inside quotation marks if they are not we place them outside the quotation marks if they are not part of a quotation they are placed outside the dentist said can you feel sensitivity in this area now that's a question and that's a question and because it's a part of the quotation we put the question mark inside the quotes quotation marks did you watch last week's lost now here lost is a a tv program let's imagine and then because it's a tv program and it's put in quotation marks and we use the question mark outside because it's not part of the quotation i wish i had never heard of calvin stopped suddenly as kelly entered the room now here uh, i wish i had never heard of dash is something like uh, it's a part of the quotation that's why even dash is put, put inside uh, quotation marks my favorite song will always be the rose now here the exclamation is mark is not part of the quotation hence it's put, it's put outside the quotation marks so what we now understand is that we use quotation marks uh, sorry question marks exclamation marks and dashes always they are put inside the quotation marks if they are part of a quotation if they are not they are placed outside full stops and commas go inside closing quotation marks so a quotation marks double quotation marks could be opening and closing and full stops and commas always go inside colons and semicolons go outside the quotation marks now this is the difference here's how i felt about last week's friends i loved it now here we have a colon at the end of the quotation marks because a friends is a name of a program and that's why it's put inside the quotation marks the interviewer dismissed the remark as a slip of the tongue the guest was insulted uh, again the semicolon is put outside the quotes so this is what we need to understand uh, we use exclamation mark we use question marks we use dashes we use full stops and commas all of these go inside closing quotation marks whereas colons and semicolons go outside of the closing quotation marks now let's do an exercise to really understand what you have learned up to now do you ever watch csi on cbs asked steven so let's use quotation marks wherever they are needed now because csi is the name of a program so we are putting them because it's part of an another quotation we are using single quotation marks to describe csi and the bigger quote is used uh, it is like um, double quotation marks are used to mention it because it's a question the question mark goes inside the quotation marks which one of you call me a cowardly excuse for a soldier bark the officer again it's a question and uh, there is a quote so that we are putting inside uh, using single quotation marks cowardly excuse for soldier and then the bigger quote is uh, is is surrounded by the quotation marks double quotation marks after reading to kill a mockingbird i rented the movie now in this case to kill a mockingbird is the name of a book so it's italicized 
to make sure that it's the name of a book and it's not in quotation marks are not used here an extra five minutes at lunch was our prize so price is like a, a slang or a, something used for emphasis so we are putting that inside the course to show that it's emphasized here again let's do some more exercises why are you still here my supervisor asked everyone else went home an hour ago now here we find that there are two sentences and we find that the tag is intercepting or interrupting the quote there is a question and there is also a statement now we, we and the first part we treat it as the case where the tag follows the quote and the second case is we we treat it because it's a full sentence we treat it as the second case where the tag precedes the quote we are shocked by our christmas bonus a bag with a cookie and an orange now here we find that uh, uh, the colon because um, it, it's a list and colon is something we write or use to introduce a list and the word bonus is used for emphasis so hence put inside quotes looking at a tardy record i see why you have named her punctual paula now here there's an irony here involved because uh, somebody has named her punctual and but actually her record is very tardy so uh, we find that uh, the quotes uh, her the name given to paula is actually put inside the quotation marks and, be, and it's talking some about an irony here and because it's it's the end part we also use the full stop inside the quotation marks get out of the way yelled the captain now here get out of the way is an exclamation the exclamation mark goes inside the quotation let's do an, another exercise the teacher called him a poor excuse for a student now a poor excuse for a student is something like it's a directly quoted words of the teacher so we put them under quotes and the full stop goes inside the quotation marks if you shovel the dry mom said i'll make hot chocolate now here like the the exact words in a conversation are uh, enclosed and um, because uh, they, they are again quotes so um, the first part is uh, used uh, i mean treated as it's a part of one big sentence the first part is treated as a quotation followed by the tag the short story was entitled the telltale heart now here um, the telltale heart is like the title of a short story hence it's put inside the quotation marks the hinges are defective said josh let's remove them now here we find two different sentences and uh, the first one is a quote followed by a tag and the second one is like a quote Now we saw Fear Factor last night. Fear Factor is the name of a TV show, hence it's like uh, put inside quotation marks. So let's sum up what we have learned up to now. So we use double quotation marks to set off a direct quotation or thought within a sentence or paragraph. We do not use quotation marks for a paraphrase or a restatement of a direct quotation or thought. In other words, even when we say something in other words, we do not use quotation marks. We use single quotation marks to set off a quotation within a quotation. Correctly punctuating dialogue means understanding how to use quotation marks, commas and end marks. And we have discussed that in very detail uh, looking at some examples. Now, how does quotation marks relate with other punctuation marks? Periods and commas, exclamation marks and uh, question marks they all go inside quotation marks colons and semicolons they generally go outside the closing quotations now this was what we have learned in this video and thank you for watching for any queries or questions you can approach us at the mail id or the blog spot given uh, 
you can also call us the number given thank you for watching have a good day